girl, listen, outside costs so much money. Like, why would they put that on there? Baby, ain't nobody trying to take y'all shoes. He's not being active in his child's life. for anybody that is new here and baby let's go ahead and kick off this weekend vlog if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining in on your another on your another daily video honey and if you're new here i would really hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel to become a part of the daily crew honey i would love to have you here we do a little bit of lifestyle mom life wife life um taking y'all on travel vlogs whenever i do travel yeah i would just say i'm an overall i'm a fun time yeah i'm a fun time um i think you'll love it over here i think you would enjoy it especially if you like to get dressed and you're very much frugal like i am myself if you like to save a coin baby i'm all about that anybody on my channel they'll tell you baby i am a dd's fanatic okay so if you're looking for a good bargain shop you know you want to be cute, you know, but you want to save a coin. I got you, boo. I got you. Um, very lighthearted. You know what I'm saying? It's not too serious over here. I just like to have a good time. I like to have certain little discussions from time to time. And, um, yeah, welcome to my world, baby. Welcome to my channel. But, anyway, um, today is Saturday, y'all. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, me and my family, we, end, we ended up going to um, Texas Roadhouse. Y'all know friday nights that's normally like our dinner nights with the family or whatever so but i didn't take y'all with us i just wanted to like you know enjoy the moment be with them you know what i'm saying and not have no camera out so yeah um just picking y'all up on today it is 1 15 y'all i have not eaten a thing my stomach is literally touching my back i'm so hungry um, but like I said, I do have leftover food since we went to, um, Texas Roadhouse last night. I have some steak and baby back ribs, loaded mashed potatoes and some green beans that my son didn't want. So I went ahead and took them too, cause they'd be pretty good. So, um, I was just coming to show y'all what I had on for the day, girl. Not nothing too spectacular. This is stuff that I've already worn besides the pants, the tights, should I say. Um, so my Bottega dupes. My little vintage gold necklace. This little mock neck um, top from Dee Dee's. These tights come from Fashion House, y'all. I've been having these for, ooh, maybe like two years at this point. I just never wore them. And um, I'm actually going to remix this outfit. I'm a, I'm definitely going to be re-wearing these tights sometime in the future. Um, because this is like a good going outside type of you know pair of tights or whatever you could dress these are real real cute put you some nice um thigh high boots on yeah get real jazzy and classy with these tights so yeah um definitely gonna be re-wearing these and just my little nike um dunks whatever y'all call them what they call them the pandas yeah them so for the day i didn't really have too too much planned i do need to go and get some stuff for the house um Fabric softener, detergent, some more paper towels, little stuff like that. And then, um, of course, I'm going to go get my car wash. I know I do that every Saturday. 
and get the inside vacuumed out. And what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to go to Walmart and get my son a bookshelf because he ended up getting a big boy um, bed set. Um, my sister-in-law ended up getting her a new bed set. So she just ended up giving the old one that she had to my son. And it was still like fairly new, y'all. So... Um, with that being said, he had an entertainment center in his room under his TV. And it had, like, all his books and stuff like that. You know, his little knickknacks on there. But now, he don't have nowhere to put it. So, he has, like, all his stuff on his dresser. And I'm like, no, I don't like what that look like. It look real junky on there because it's cluttered with all his things. So, I want to go and get him a bookshelf. Just like the one that I bought here to make my closet um space or my closet area whatever you want to call it but i'm gonna just get his in black because his um bedroom set is gray so i feel like black would be more of a boy you know it'll, it'll match his decor and stuff like that so yeah maybe we may do that today maybe not but that's just what i have in my mind right now of what i need to do and then i wanted to go to ross too um just to like shop around a little bit. I want to get like some more active wear sets. And I need to get some more stuff for my car. Because I normally um, use this spray that I get for my interior. Like whenever I'm um, wiping my car. Like you know my seats and stuff down. So I'm out of that. I need to re-up on that. What else? I don't really know y'all. But that's just what I have going on for right now. Um, the purse that I'm going to wear. Y'all know I was creating a real girl. So I put all my stuff out here. But... I'm going to wear the, um, the Dior saddle dude from Amazon. So that's what we're going to have on for today. I'm going to go ahead and carry that. Same other day, y'all, is going to be this new bouquet by Zara. Y'all see, I already didn't put a dent in it. Sure, I've been wearing it. Not that much, but y'all know I'm an oversprayer. So it's just naturally going to happen for me to wear a bottle out. Oh, it smells so good. I love this scent. And I sprayed on my little Chanel sample. The one I had told y'all about a while ago. Girl, it's giving. It's giving old lady game, baby. I ain't better do it. I ain't better do it. I sprayed a little bit. And I was like, oh, no. Baby, I smell like I'm a um, funeral home director or something, child. That's what it's giving me. Oh, that smells so good. And then I'm going to spray a little bit of my, um, y'all, I didn't wear this out. I literally only have a little, little bit. This Dossier Fruity Almond. This is the uh, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Inspired by Scent. Oh, I'm going to spray this in my hair. Because it got like a little, um, or that flat iron smell to it. I don't like that. But I do need to buy me some, um, you know, scents for my hair. The hair perfume. Let me go eat y'all. Y'all, look at these Michael Kors shoes at Ross. I think these are cute. I like them. They look big though, y'all. Even though I do wear a and they look real big. They cute though. That is. Y'all, them shoes that went off, my baby took off and running. She gonna leave me. <laughs> she gonna leave me over here, child. That's so embarrassing. I don't know why would they do that. Like, why would they put that on there? Baby, ain't nobody trying to take y'all shoes. Ain't. Cute heels right here, y'all. Look at this little gold metallic detailing. That's really pretty. And this is from Aldo. That's cute for 35 They got the powder puff applicators too, y'all. For $3.99. I forget how much I paid for the ones on Amazon, but they do have them here at Ross. That's not bad either for six of them. That's not bad. And then they have this little um, facial trimmer. I might need to get this. I have some, but I think I'm almost out. In case you know, in case you're into like the derma planning and stuff like that. For four ninety nine, it's not bad. I'm gonna try these. They actually have the real ones right here for derma planning, right here. So I found a better one. These might work a little bit better for four ninety nine. I'm gonna get them because I definitely need to shave my face, child. These are so cute. They go from um, large to small. I like these even better. And they $4.49. They're so cute. I like these little pins right here. 
Got the little snaps on the side. And they like $11.99, y'all. I want to see the tag. I throw another one in my um, basket. But these are cute. I like these two with the little pockets on the side. I love these type of pants. These are so cute. Look how they fit. Ooh, these are cute, y'all. And they tall girl friendly. They come all the way down. So cute. I love them. These giving walking blanket. So comfortable. $6.99. Only thing is they don't come all the way down. See, they not super high, but I don't know, y'all. They real cute and comfortable, though. Super comfortable, super comfortable. Tall girl friendly. They're 10 dollars And yeah. See? They cute, they cute. Can y'all see? Oh, wait, let me stand back so y'all can see. So comfortable. Perfect. Tens across the board. $15.99. Super long. Dragging the floor. I'm in love. These won't go up past the thighs, but they are so cute. Mm. This thing paying for her own clothes with her own money, y'all. She's paying thirty dollars. I don't know. Cash, you got cash. Yes, can I do the kids combo? Not for your drink. A sprite. Kids combo with a sprite. Anything else for you? That's it. It's gonna go ahead and be a six ninety two and that's something we're done. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. No, oh, you want ketchup, babe? No ketchup. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Now you get to tell them who you married to. Now we get to try to make this thing work. Don't play with it, don't be the silence. Still not understanding this logic. You bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna get you better. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up. Somebody's on next up. Be damn if I let them catch up. It's easy to see that you're fitter. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fucked you over cause you let him. Fuck him, girl, I guess he didn't know any better. That man didn't show any ever Do all I can just to show you it's special Starting it's your love that holds me together um girl listen i'm not gonna be able to go to walmart to get my baby uh the bookshelf i said i wanted to get for him we gonna just end up doing that another day because when i tell you uh <clears throat> i didn't kind of went over my budget for the day girl listen outside cost so much money it, it, it's just too much money for me boo you know so um i did get a few items from um ross those pants that i was telling you that i liked i end up getting all of those and as y'all can see i just finished getting the stuff that i needed for my house excuse me i know it's a little dark right now um but i ended up getting what i needed for my house a few like uh, a few little um household items and girl that's that on it 
All right, y'all, let me show y'all what I end up getting. Like I said, the same stuff that I showed y'all when I was trying the pieces on, but I'm gonna just show y'all which ones that I got. Nothing, nothing too major, girl. Just some few little pieces. So, this little cute flare leg sweatpant. I love this. This is so cute and comfortable. I show, I think I showed y'all how it looked. Um, tall girl friendly. This was $10.99, y'all. Just something, you know, for me to just lounge around when I don't feel like getting dressed and I just want to be comfortable and cute and cozy. A go-to pair of pants. Got that. And then I got this jacket right here. And it's so comfortable, y'all. The blue, I got it to go with this. The blues, they're not perfectly matched. But I mean, child, if people looking that hard and if they trying to be that matchy-matchy, baby, that's their problem, not mine, okay? But um, I ended up getting this little, like a fleece jacket. So, it's real comfortable. So comfortable. Let me show y'all how it fit me, y'all. Oh, it feels so good. Girl, it's so comfortable. And I got it in a size medium. Show y'all. And it's real fitted. But it's so comfortable. Y'all, I can't stress that enough, girl. It's so comfortable. Child, I feel like I got a blanket on. See, it's one of them little cute fleece fitted jackets that the girls be wearing, y'all. Feels so good, so good. And it was number $6.99. So, I got that. If I go to another location, I'm going to see if they have more colors in this type of style because I love it. So, yeah, got that. And then I got these pair of pants I told y'all that I was in love with. They $15.99, y'all. So darn cute. Tall girl friendly. It's made by the company Lizette Collection. Y'all, these fit me perfect. With the little pockets on the side. I'm in love with these. Oh, baby, I can't wait to wear them. I can't wait to wear them. I cannot wait. I don't know. I'm going to have to create a cute little look, but baby, these pants, there's so many ways I can style this. Baby, it's just endless possibilities when it comes to that type of pair of pants. So, yeah. I feel like this is a staple piece, a timeless and classic piece. You can always dress this up, dress it down, and you can just have this for years to come, girl. This is that type of pair of pants. Like, I don't ever see myself getting rid of these pants, but I love them. And for the price, girl, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Um... I told y'all I was going to end up getting a little derma planning uh, razors for my face. Because, girl, if y'all don't know, baby, I'm super hairy. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and, you know, one of these nights do me a nice little derma planning with these. Yeah. Get my skin together. Yeah. I told y'all I was trying to find products for my hair, you know, to get it back strengthened and healthy and all of those things, y'all. So, I ended up picking up this. Oregon and Biotin um, shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna try this out. It's by Beauty Untouched by SJ Creations. It says to de uh, detoxify, hydrate, cleanse, promote healthier hair. So I'm gonna try this and see if it's gonna work. This is what it looks like, y'all. Comes in a set of two and it's $15.99. So yeah, we'll try this out and see if it's gonna help because girl, I need to, <sighs> baby, I need something that's gonna get my hair back on track. But um, like I said, y'all, so far so good. It still sheds, but not as bad as it was before I did the trim. But yeah. And then I end up picking up this castor oil. Because y'all know castor oil is supposed to be really, really good for your hair. Um, this one says you should apply it twice a week overnight for one or two hours. But for hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. It says the oil should be applied. Twice a week overnight or one to two hours before shampoo, give your scalp a gentle three to four minute massage with the oil and use the oil for three to four months for best results. Okay. So yeah, y'all, we're going to try this out and see how it works. And then I also picked up this keratin. Uh, it's gold 24 karat keratin um, liquid oil. 
um i think this is more so for like uh trying to just keep your hair straightened um it will make your hair last longer you know not frizz up you know especially for the girls that have natural hair like i do um keratin is supposed to be really good with that so i can't really see the words child it's so small and then the color of this bottle ain't helping um oh baby i can't see but yeah i guess i'll just uh spray a little bit of i guess i'll just go ahead and spray a little bit of this on my hair and see how it works not too much though so yeah we'll try it out and see how it works y'all i'll let y'all know i'm gonna keep y'all updated too um and that's pretty much oh and just some eco styling gel for my baby for $3.99 so can't beat that child so i went ahead and got this and that's it y'all that is it girl nothing more nothing less i'm about to go make uh i'm about to get ready to go fix me a glass of wine and wind down and go catch up on these shows we're gonna get ready to go watch traders if it's recorded on there because i don't really keep up with when that show comes on so hopefully it's on there for us to watch but um other than that y'all that's pretty much it girl that's pretty much it tomorrow i don't know what we doing i don't have nothing playing like i said baby it costs money to be outside and i don't know if i'm gonna be outside like that okay because mama got other bills and stuff she gotta pay so um i don't know y'all it may just be a one day weekend vlog i think i'll start posting like different little questions and like different little topics and stuff like that just to like spark a conversation you know not for nothing else um so y'all know i be watching the love after lockup i didn't told y'all about that so we was watching it last night and the girl chevelle the one i be telling y'all about well the one i was already talking to y'all about um so the girl chevelle her baby daddy mama ended up showing up to talk to her right and so the girl was telling her chevelle was telling her like pretty much quailin is thinking about adopting her daughter and so the grandmother was like you know absolutely not like no 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 like she went with it right and the girl was just pretty much saying like you know he's not present in her life in x y and z and so she's just like but we still here like we still here meaning like they still alive like they not dead so she don't feel a reason for the adoption you know what i'm saying so um she ended up talking to her fiance quailin and you know i guess she just wanted to kind of like see what his mind was you know kind of feel him out or whatever and so as he's talking to her he's just saying like you know, I've been here in her life, you know, the whole time. This guy hasn't stepped up to the plate. I done reached out to him, you know, all of these things. And so, you could tell, like, at that point, I can see it in her eyes. Like, it kind of, like, dawned on her, like, dang. It's like she knows her son is a deadbeat father, but she don't want to come to terms with that you know kind of like in a denial almost you know what i'm saying and i was just like man that's crazy like she probably didn't even raise her son to be that way you know what i'm saying but the fact that now they're to this point where this guy is you know about to like potentially adopt the daughter she just she was just like, I don't want to say she was flipping out, but she was just like against it. Like, no, 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 absolutely not. And at the same time, she was just like, you know, she feels like, I guess that will be taking rights away from her, you know, with him adopting. You know, she's like, no, I still have my grandparents' rights, which she does. You know what I'm saying? She was just like, no. But then, like I said, after she had that conversation with the fiance, you could just kind of tell like, dang, like. You know, he seems to be a good man. Like, you know, I guess it, it was starting to click in her mind, you know, like the realization of like, you know, maybe this is good for her. And if my son ain't stepping up to the plate, then, you know what I'm saying? What else can we do? But how y'all feel about that? Like, if you had a son, you know, you done raised him 
to the best of your ability and you know he has a child and he doesn't play any type of active role in his child's life like are you gonna be would you be with the adoption as hard as it may be if her mom has a man that stepped up to the plate and he's playing the position of the father role you know what i'm saying or will you just try to fight her about it? You know, like, go against it. Like, no, you know, regardless of the fact that if this is a good man, he's still, you know, he's playing a position as a father and all of these things. I still want my son to be considered the father. You know what I'm saying? I still want him to have that title, even though he's not playing that position. You know what I'm saying? How, like, how would y'all feel about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, would you... Like I said, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her on it. Because it seems like that's what it's going to be. You know, it seems like it's going to be a situation to where they're going to have to just battle it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like the grandmother is... Um, I don't think she's going to let that go that easily. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's going to be with that like that. Um, regardless of the fact. You know what I'm saying? So, how would y'all feel about that? Like, I just feel like that is a hard situation to try to... Figure out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know you got a child, you know he's a father. This is his child, but he's not being active in his child's life. So, am I going to be with the mother letting this guy adopt? And then, and then on the flip side of that, you got to think too. Yeah, they're finna get married. He's playing the father role. If he potentially adopts this child... He now has the legal rights to this child, right? But say for instance down the say for instance down the line, y'all don't work out. How does that work? You see what I'm saying? Like it's so many different scenarios that you have to take into consideration when rationalizing with these things. You know, it's like if y'all don't work out, now this guy has legal rights to your child, but y'all have no more more relations, but yet and still this guy has the right to your kid now. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's tough. That's tough. Like, when you think about it like that, it's just like, if y'all don't work out, now you have a third party that's still considered her father. I mean, that, that shouldn't have to interfere with their relationship, you know, him and the child's relationship, but it's still... It gets a little, it gets a little difficult, y'all. Like when you when you try to really dissect everything and all the moving pieces in the scenario and the grand scheme of things, it is a lot. You know, I'm just trying to figure out like if I was a grandmother, how would I feel? You know, if my son wasn't playing his role as a father, like I really feel like I don't, I don't know. I can't really say. I can't really say. That that is hard. But um, that's just something that I, you know, I just kind of like wanted to like pick y'all brain and see how y'all felt about it. Like, what, what's your take on it? Like, how would y'all feel like? Would you give her a hard time? Would you go with it? Would you not? Like, y'all just let me know down below, girl. Something to just chat about, you know, some food for thought. You know, everybody got their own way of thinking. Everybody got their own perspective on things. And I just be liking to, you know, get y'all views and just like. Get y'all take on certain, you know, situations and topics and stuff like that. You know, and nothing too major, y'all. But anyway, let me go ahead, y'all look. <laughs> uh, I bought these little hangers from Dee Dee's. Girl, it's been some years. It's probably been at least two years. Everything is two years, y'all. Y'all notice every time I say something, it's two years. But for real, y'all been having these for a little minute, child. But um, I love them because they're definitely um space savers. So, you can put... Girl, leave it up to me, baby. I'll be having this thing filled up to the rim. Look, let me show y'all what I did. I took all my little active wear tights and all the little, you know, my little athleisure sets that I, well, tights that I be wearing. And girl, look, I didn't put like eight pair on here. So two on each, two on each little row. Baby, don't, one thing, baby, listen. We gonna make stuff work. We gonna make it do what it do. So yeah, I'm getting um, I'm getting good use out of these little hangers. I'ma just uh, this set not gone. I'm not keeping this set on here, girl. I, I got to talking to y'all, and that's what threw me off. But yeah, I guess I'll just keep these on here like this for now. 
hang them up right here. And um, I really need to buy some more hangers. So I don't know if I told y'all because whenever I put this um, whenever I put this shelf up right here, I I didn't even show y'all when I put it together. This was actually a part of the New Year vlog that I accidentally deleted, y'all. Um, oh excuse me, but um, I did buy extra bookshelf. Obviously, y'all see that. Um, whenever I bought the bookshelf, I actually picked these hangers up right here. And I fell in love with them. I got this. I think it came 30. I think it came 30 in the box for like $9.99 or $9.98 at Walmart. Um, and so yeah, I'm thinking about going back and getting the black with the gold hanger. So yeah, but like I said, for right now, this is what um this is what I have so far. But yeah, eventually all of this, like I said, I like this. But eventually, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out the black plastic ones and also the um, white ones as well. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get the ones that look, you know, like this. I think this is more so the style I'm going for, like the look I'm going for. I, I think this is more fitting for, you know, what I'm trying to um, what I'm trying to make my bookshelf look like or my closet <laughs> look like. Did I ever show y'all how the lights turned out? I ended up buying some um, command strips from Walmart. I don't even know if I showed y'all. Like I said, all of that was in a New Year vlog. So, um, look y'all. Girl, look. Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute, y'all? I am in love. I never turn them on. I be forgetting, honestly, that I even have them right there. But I do want to get more, like I had told y'all previously. Um, I'm going to probably get like the little small round ones and just, um, I may get finished getting like the big ones for the top two and then for the ones at the bottom, like with my shoes and stuff, or I think I'm going to just go ahead and get like the little small round ones and just, um, pop them up under there. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all cause I couldn't remember if I showed y'all or not. That's what it looks like. Girl, we doing a little something, girl. We doing a little something, something. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see. <sighs> What's up, y'all? It's you, okay, gang? Go follow me. <laughs> my name is You Know Case Plays. You'll see my face. But then my face gonna cry with you still with me. <gasps> that's what I should've did. Ooh, that's fire. That it gave me an idea right there. When they say she get it from her mama. I'm a favorite body, right? Body when it's gonna like I'm being a homicide. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go good tonight. I was in hopes you slept right. I just wanna live in a fantasy.